Hello, hello, we just killed in is the name and Hearthstone is the game. And today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 legendaries that you should craft. If you're a new player and you're looking to add a big threat to your uh, collection and you need a new legendary, these are the 10 best legendaries that you can craft. They'll give you the most general uh, purpose use and improve the highest average number of decks. Now with that said, we're going to focus on neutral legendaries mostly. But a couple class legendaries do sneak their way onto this list just simply because they're so widely used in those classes and so generally good. So up first, number 10, the 10th uh, most useful legendary to craft is the Warlock legendary Lord Jaraxxus. This 9 mana 315 demon has one of the coolest and most interesting effects in the game, uh, which if for no other reason makes him worth crafting right there. He has a battle card that destroys your hero and replaces it with Lord Jaraxxus. Now when that happens, of course, his hero power becomes incredible. It's a 2 mana spawn, a 6-6 six, six minion. He's also given a weapon that attacks for 3 damage over 8 turns. So you can see the pure value potential in Lord Jaraxxus is almost unmatched. For that reason, he does show up in a wide variety of Warlock decks. He's in uh, aggressive Warlock decks, slow Warlock decks, He's in all of them, and he's very, very good. And if you ever plan to play Warlock, there's a good chance Lord Jaraxxus will work for you at some point. The ninth best legendary to craft is another class legendary. This time it's the Warrior's Gromash Hellscream. This 8 mana 4 9 again has a very powerful effect. It comes with charge, and anytime it's taken damage, it gets a 6 attack bonus. So that makes it a 10 8 in general attacking for 10 burst damage straight out of your hand as long as you can cause it any damage. It's often used in Warriors with a Cruel Taskmaster to make it a 12-8 that hits the enemy face for lethal. It's also just a strong value minion on average even if you have to use it as a 4 damage clear. It's difficult for opponents to remove, but it really gives Warriors that finishing touch they often need to win long games. So it shows up in a wide variety of Warrior decks and it's kind of the centerpiece finisher for control warriors. So if you ever plan to play a wallet, control warrior, grow my shell screen will have to make it in your collection at some point. The eighth best legendary to craft is brand new with the Grand Tournament, and it is Justicar True Heart. This six mana six three doesn't sound very good based on its stats, but it has a really cool battle cry effect. It replaces your starting hero power with a better one. Just a card True Heart is most often used by priests, paladins, and warriors. Very rarely in other classes, but it's so good in those three classes that if you ever plan to play them, it's still very, very good, particularly in Control Warriors, where her effect allows the warrior to build up four armor every time it uses its hero power, which means warriors with something like 60, 70, or 80 health is not that unusual if they get Just a card True Heart, True Heart out early enough. Now the 6-3 body dies pretty quickly, but that's not why she's there. She's there for late game control, long-term value. And if that's the kind of deck you like to play, Just Scar True Heart will do a lot of work for you. The seventh best legendary to craft is the 5-mana Harrison Jones. This 5-4 minion has yet again another cool battle cry. This time it destroys your opponent's weapon and draws cards equal to that weapon's durability. So if you destroy a 4-2 Death Spite, for instance, you will draw two cards. If you draw, if you destroy a Doom Hammer with eight duration, you'll draw eight cards. That can be a little dangerous from time to time, but you can see the potential value that Harrison Jones offers. Given the commonness of weapon classes on the ranked ladder, Harrison Jones can often build up tons of value in games for you, both as just a solid little minion that removes a weapon and in that extra card draw. So he's a really good tech card to add into your list if you're seeing a lot of weapon classes and they're giving you trouble. He has lots of average value on the ladder in general. Up next, top 10 is number 6. And the 6th best legendary to craft is the almighty Ragnaros the Fire Lord. This 8 mana 8 8 minion can't actually attack, but at the end of its turn, it does 8 damage 
to a random enemy. Now Ragnaros used to be even better than it is now, but he's still a good fit in late game control decks, and he's very powerful when he's able to stick. That 8 damage can add up, and if they don't have an answer, Ragnaros will generally win games all on his own. It's yet to be seen if Ragnaros will really make a strong return to the meta. He's not in every deck these days, he only shows up from time to time, but the average value of the card is so high in general that you'll bound to see use out of him eventually, and he's just so much fun and so unique and such a part of the history of Hearthstone that I think he deserves a spot on this list anyway. The fifth best legendary to craft is the almighty 9-mana Alexstrasza. This 8-8 dragon has yet again another cool battle cry. She sets a hero's remaining health to 15. Now sometimes you can use that against a full health opponent to do an instant 15 damage and put them in lethal damage range. Sometimes you can use it on yourself for up to a 14 point heal that helps you stabilize against aggressive decks if you're running a control deck. This is most often used in control warrior lists and by freeze mages to set up a lethal damage over a turn or two. But it uh, really fits in a lot of different decks, and Alex Draws is so good in general that you can probably find a home for her in a variety of decks that you're testing out. She's just an overall very strong card with one of the coolest and most powerful effects in the game. The fourth best legendary to craft is yet another dragon. This time it's the 9 mana Ysera. This 412 dragon is incredibly difficult to kill. Given those stats, she's not susceptible to Big Game Hunter, and her 12 health is just absurd for dealing with. And she has probably the strongest effect in the game. At the end of your turn, add a dream card to your hand. I don't have time to show you all the dream cards now, but they all are very good. And if Ysera lives for more than a turn or two, there's a good chance she will win you the game on the pure value that her dream cards tend to generate. Ysera can absolutely control late game battles and fatigue battles herself. She will help you win games that would otherwise seem impossible to win, and in any kind of late game control oriented deck, Ysera is going to bring the heat and do tons of work. The third best legendary to craft is actually a class card, and it's the 8 mana paladin card Tyrion Fordring. There's a very strong argument to be made that Tyrion Forging is still the very best card in Hearthstone. The only reason he's not number one on this list is because he is limited to a single class, so he won't get you as much average value as the top two cards, but he might just be better than them. His 6-6 body probably doesn't sound all that great on its own, but his card effects are just endless. He has Divine Shield, he has Taunt, and his Death Rattle is absurd. If, you, if he dies, you get to equip a 5-3 Ashbringer weapon, which would probably be a 7-mana card all on its own. So you can see why Tyrion Forging is just so incredibly strong. He is in every single Paladin deck list I think I've ever seen, except hyper, hyper face aggressive decks. He's just too good to pass up. If you ever play Paladin or want to play Paladin, or even considered playing Paladin randomly with a stray thought, Tyrion Forging belongs in your collection. He's just simply too strong to ignore. The number two legendary that you need to craft is the six mana Sylvanas Windrunner. This 5-5 five five minion has a death rattle effect that when she dies she takes control of a random enemy minion. Sylvanas for a very long time has showed up in basically every mid-range or control deck. She's still probably the best 6-drop in the game, certainly the best craftable legendary 6-drop in the game, and she's just so good. Her effect is great. If you're ahead on the board, it's even better. When you're behind on the board, she can create unbelievable comebacks. She's such a nuisance to deal with. Her stat alignment is perfect for the metagame and she fits into such a wide variety of decks that you're guaranteed to get value out of this card if you do spend the dust to craft it. And finally, the number one legendary to craft if you're looking to add another legendary to your collection. This is the undisputed champion of value cards in the game. It is probably the best card in the game and there's a reason that it fits into almost every deck that's ever been made since its release. 
Of course, we're talking about the seven mana Dr. Boom. Now, Dr. Boom may not be a giant character in the Warcraft lore, but he's quickly becoming one just because he is a giant force on the Hearthstone ranked ladder. Dr. Boom is a 7-7 minion that has a battle cry which summons two 1-1 boom bots, and those boom bots, of course, when they die, do between 1 and 4 damage to a random enemy. There's just so much value packed into this card for 7 mana. If you have 7 mana and Dr. Boom, there's probably nothing better that you can do. Dr. Boom is the ultimate on-curve drop. He is incredibly hard for opponents to deal with. Even if they have an answer for Dr. Boom himself, the Boom Bots are good value. You wouldn't be too distraught if you played two Boom Bots for 7 mana sometimes. To get the free 7-7 seven, seven body with them, that's just a bonus. Dr. Boom is the ultimate legendary card. You can slot him into any deck without remorse, whether it be aggressive face or late game control. He still fits. There's no better legendary in the game. If you have 1600 spared dust, spend it on Dr. Boom right now. You will never regret it. He is the top legendary to craft. And there you have it. That's my list of the top 10 legendaries to craft if you're looking for a new one. Until next time, game on.